Hi guys, this is Best Boomer back with you uh, on my uh, walk after my run today. Beautiful day in the neighborhood in Arizona. I think it's in the 80s. I didn't check. Perfect day though. Absolutely perfect. Uh, please um, listen to my content. If you happen to like it, please uh, like and uh, share it and consider subscribing. Um, this is fun to do and I'm going to do it for a while just to see if I can build up my number of subscribers, but um, I don't feel any real pressure to do it. Uh, it's just good to talk a little bit. Uh, and so today I'm going to, I didn't you know, do any research or look anything up or uh, script anything. I'm just going to kind of speak from the heart today about Thanksgiving. And uh, also just kind of try to dispel some of the myths about uh, the Trump voters and supporters out there. Um, those who don't know me grew up in Waterloo, Iowa, and I grew up very, very poor. And uh, speaking, you know, Thanksgiving, we depended on the Salvation Army for a Thanksgiving basket. Also, Thanksgiving, um, or a Christmas basket. And my mother raised eight children. My father died when I was nine. And so, of course, we had uh, public aid and food stamps and so I absolutely know how it is to live on a very low income to no income. Uh, so, um, so Thanksgiving, you know, today, um, I'm kind of in a whole different place with my life. You know, I've uh, worked and retired and my husband worked and retired. And um, so, you know, our... Uh, monetary basic needs are met right now. But just to um, dispel some of the myths of uh, Trump supporters, I've actually, um, in going back and forth with high school uh, friends and people I remember from high school, uh, I've lost a couple uh, over, you know, my Trump support. I actually... Uh, deleted a friend who I really liked in high school or junior high I guess but um, she was very much against Trump and very much leaning towards the socialist end of the spectrum so but what I'm going to talk about today is to automatically assume anything about anybody who you know, ascribes himself to one party or another is uh, kind of a senseless thing to do um, because people are so varied and you can't assume anything about them um, just because of who they affiliate with. Um, actually, I'm registered as an independent back in Iowa I generally voted Democrat for the state level, and I might say Republican for the national level. Um, I was part of a union at Cedar Falls Police Department, um, and so that probably had some to do with that Democrat lead. Um, so, uh, and my brother, you know, my family's probably mainly Democrats, as you can might imagine. Uh, and my brother once said, because there's only two Republicans, Republican voting uh, in our family, um, and that's my sister and I. So um, he said, well, if you two didn't have money, you wouldn't be Republicans. Well, first off, I don't consider that either my sister nor I are uh, rich by any means. Um, Maybe you could say comfortable. Like I say, our needs are met. Uh, but we paid a long time into a retirement system to get where we are. But I have never forgotten where I came from. 
and my heart is always, I'd say most always, with the underdog, okay? Um, even as a police officer, and people color them with such uh, hate, uh, you know, some of the things that have happened recently. But I can say as a police officer, I was probably more of a social worker than a police officer. You know, of course, I um, carried a weapon, and I think I drew it once, and that wasn't at somebody. It was to be ready. <laughs> and um, so uh, the reason that I went into that was, and I, and I think you'll hear this over and over, was to help people. Because people who uh, break the law many times, there's a lot going on behind that. And, um, you know, you can learn from your experiences. And that's kind of the tack that I would take. You know, what can you do next to make things better? Um, but my main career was as a probation officer and a supervisor uh, for juveniles in the probation system, um, Blackhawk County, or state of Iowa. And I did this for 24 years. And, um, you know, as you might imagine, many of the kids I worked with were very low income. Not all of them. We did get some doctor's kids and, uh, you know, uh, others who, you got to wonder how they, how they got themselves into the mess they got themselves into. But with those kids, it was all about helping them figure out how to uh, make something of themselves and be successful, even coming from some sometimes dire circumstances. You know, uh, parents abusing substances, abusive parents, very low income, um, and um, gang stuff, Waterloo, Iowa, with their gang crap going on, and it's still pretty rough in parts of Waterloo um, today. And one of my past kids who I supervise, and I won't say his name, but he's now a minister, and really working um, to help the Cedar Valley to be a better place to live, which, you know, makes my heart sing. Um, so, you know, that's, that's where my heart lies is with um, people becoming the best that they can be and like I say my sympathies um, are with you know the underdog um, so why you ask would you ever support Trump I think he came in uh, being totally the opposite of what you would expect and he is not a politician and that's one of the reasons I liked him because he spoke very plainly he didn't filter. Um, and we were just coming off of having eight years of an eloquent speaker who, in my estimation, didn't do much. Um, and for those who say, well, what's Trump done? I can send you lists and lists and um, kind acts that you will never hear of on the mainstream media because that's not the narrative that they want to portray. They want to portray him as a dictator, um, an idiot, um, whatever else. You really have to search uh, for reporting of the good things. Okay, so, um, but I guess my point is, everyone who, you know, who supports Trump, um, every one of us is different. You know, many are, uh, what, religious, um, you know, we're faithful, uh, some attend church and they like what uh, Trump stands for in church and there'll always be the naysayers that go back to oh but he's done this or he's done that or he made fun of a handicapped person um, and you know there are instances where Trump's filter where he's done or said things that um, I wouldn't agree with at all and that are wrong um, he is human, and the thing is, he's not filtered. So, um, you know, what you see is what you get, and um, I think it makes some people feel so superior, and the arrogance shows 
uh, that I couldn't support him. I don't know how you could. You know, that makes you a bad person. And that's, a, that's the method I'd like to dispel because um, it's, it's just not true <laughs> for so many. Now, maybe there are some, uh, but generally speaking, it's just not true. And I think in the end, most human beings want the same thing, and that is for um, people to be able to meet their basic needs and, um, you know, not necessarily... I guess to be happy and have what they need and be able to better themselves if they're willing to work for it um, and to know the avenues that they need to take in order to get there. Um, and it's not a, you know, the goal should not be for the government to take care of you. Um, in dire circumstances, that's necessary sometimes, but in the end, it's um, those who work and follow the path of, you know, um, success, so to speak, uh, can make it for the most part. They can make it. Um, and so that's my, um, that's my talk for today. Very personal um, talk. I'm very thankful. Um, I have a lot to be thankful for right now. And, um, and no matter what the politics, which way it goes, I am still the same person. I will still conduct myself the same and um, you know this life that we have here in the United States is uh, I think the best of anywhere you could go that's why people are trying to get into the country you know uh, that's like common sense they're trying to get here it's not that you can't leave um, you can leave go ahead um, of course during the COVID times you know I guess all bets are off right now so, but I digress there a little bit. Um, that's the end of my uh, walk and talk today. Um, I'll have to think about it before I post it because I'm not, you know, I mean, I share some kind of personal uh, background that some might not know. I'm um, not that I'm ashamed of it, but it is, you know, personal. So, okay, if you like my content, please like. And um, I appreciate everyone who watches my videos, even if you don't subscribe, but uh, consider subscribing, share it, uh, whatever, and have a happy, happy Thanksgiving, um, and I will be talking to you later. Bye-bye.